Hey everyone, my name's Alex, and today we're going to walk through the features of MailerLite's rich text editor, and in the process, create a simple yet effective welcome email that accomplishes three things. Introduces the brand, provides a gift to the subscriber, and invites them to engage with a call to action. You ready to dive in? First, in your MailerLite dashboard, go to Campaigns in the left sidebar. Select Create Campaign, then select Regular Campaign. Enter your campaign details, and then select your intended recipients, and then click Next, Content. This is where you navigate to the text editor. Click over to the Start from Scratch tab at the top left. You'll see three options, and for this video, let's click right into the rich text editor. And once you're in, you'll see a black navigation bar at the top. And here's a quick breakdown from left to right. Go back lets you return to the previous page. Restore version history is your rewind button. You can undo actions or even bring back previous versions of your newsletter edit. Under Actions, you can save this email layout for future campaigns or remove all content blocks. And finally, Preview and Test lets you preview how your email will look on desktop and mobile, and you can send a test email to yourself to make sure everything's looking as it should in your customer's inbox. Now for the fun part. Let's load this up with some content. The editor window has a minimal design, allowing you to focus on the essentials. In the rich text editor, each line is a block, and you can add new blocks by hovering to the left of the line and clicking the plus sign that appears. Now that we've added another text block, you can see that it gave us another line right underneath. If you want to delete a line, hover over the three dots to the right and click the trash icon. And keep in mind that you need to have at least two lines or blocks in order for this icon to be available. To get started with our design, let's add a logo at the top, kind of like a letterhead. To do that, we want to add an image block. So we'll click over to the plus sign on the left and then click the image block. We want to move the block up above the text, so we'll click and drag the six dots on the left here. And notice the up and down arrows over here. You could click those as well to move the block up or down. To change the image into our logo, click into the placeholder icon. You'll see the options for it appear on the right. Click the Browse button, and that'll take us to the File Manager. For this email, let's click over to the Planted folder on the left, and then we'll select the logo that we want. When it's placed, it'll be a bit huge at first. Let's make it smaller by dragging the bottom right corner, and that looks about right. I think this would look a little bit more natural if we had it aligned to the left, and that's easy enough to do with the image settings here in the right sidebar. Uh, simply click left under image alignment, and then hit save. Since this is the rich text editor, our content is primarily going to be text, so let's get that added. When you go to edit the text by clicking into the block, you'll see an array of standard text formatting options appear, including bold, italics, underline, size, and color. You can even add personalizations with variables from the text formatting toolbar. Simply navigate over the variables icon and select the personalization that you want to use. We'll use name for this so that the subscriber's name appears here when they receive the email. All right, let's fill in some more content. I want to make this line bold, and for the next section, we're going to add a list. First, I'll uncheck the bold option so that our text isn't all bold over here, and then I'll go to the list icon in the text formatting options. Notice that you can make an unordered list or a numbered list. For this, we'll do an unordered list. When you make a list, each line here is kept within just one text block. Compared with using the Enter key to separate lines in a regular text block, those create a new block. Within the list, it just makes a new list item within the same block. All right, that looks good. Now I'm going to add another text block to make sure that the next line isn't part of the list block, and then finish out the email copy. At the bottom of our message, we're inviting subscribers to follow us for more plant inspiration. And if we look over here at our block options, we have a social links block. We'll add that, and that'll give us the option to easily add our social links here. Now, as you can see, there are many blocks that you have at your disposal that we didn't have time to go over here, like the quote block that includes a vertical line on the left and specially formatted text to indicate that a quote is being used, or the countdown block, which could be used when you have a limited time offer for your subscribers. In the right sidebar, you'll find your global settings. 
Here, you can set the email width, choose fonts, and customize footer design like text and link style and color. Every MailerLite email footer includes an unsubscribe link and your address to comply with email regulations. Once you're happy with your design, hit Preview and Test to check how it looks on desktop and mobile. If everything's set, click Done Editing to save your work and get ready to send. And there you go! A simple yet effective email design using MailerLite's Rich Text Editor. Remember, the best way to master this editor is to experiment with each block and see what works best for your brand. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more of the best tips in email marketing.